It's Sabbath. That means Saturday morning. Well, Sabbath is from sundown, sunset on Friday, all the way to sunset on Saturday. That Sabbath, biblically. Usually, I do Bible study uh, Friday night, but I couldn't because I was talking to my grandparents. So, family time, which is good on the Sabbath. Saturday mornings, wake up, do a little bit of Bible study if I have time. I change into my church clothes and do a little dance because I'm happy because it's the Sabbath and I don't have to work. Spend time with family, spend time with the church family, fellowship. fellowship. And also today I get to see my daughter. I'll get to, I'll get to have her for four, five days. So it's always a good thing. So what else do I do on Sabbath? Well, I got to go to church now. And I get the sound system ready for church. So that's what we're going to do. Let's do that. Statistics show that no-show socks are better for your health. It reduces cancer. I'm just joking. I'm just wearing no-show socks because it's hot outside. And I don't want to wear long socks and make my legs all sweaty. By the way, I usually wear a suit to church, but it's fairly hot today. Or should I say unfairly? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's unfairly hot today, so I'm wearing a little polo shirt because I already know that it's gonna get a little hotter later. Unfairly hotter. So, I'm just getting out of church. Um, I wanted to show you guys everything else. I mean, I showed you guys a little bit of a clip of the service, but I wanted to show you guys everything else, but I couldn't because they had me doing the sound system, if, as you guys can see. And um, not only that, but it's kind of a very emotional Sabbath for me because I got to the conclusion that uh you know there's still a little bit of pride in me um and i know this due to the situation that i've been going through with uh, my daughter and that whole situation and some problems and things like that and and i gotta admit yes there is there is still a lot of um pride in me and being prideful is something that we as christians shouldn't should not be and it's a problem. It's still Sabbath, so I'm gonna go see my daughter right now. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back home, spend some quality time together. Um, probably go, you know, do Sabbath things like probably go to the park, go to the pond, you know, walk around at the pond, you know, look at the birds and the you know, and just enjoy nature. You know what I mean, just enjoying nature. Because that's what we do on Sabbath. We don't do no labor. Just enjoy your time with God. Enjoy it. No TV. Just enjoy your time with God. Enjoy your time with family. Enjoy your Bible studies and enjoy nature. If Bible study is not fun for us, if spending your whole day with God, no TV, is not fun for us, if, if spending the whole day in nature just contemplating what God has done, the creation that God has created, if we don't see that as fun if we don't see Bible study as fun then we need to really think about why we're Christians Hello, you. hi baby Is it an umbrella? Uh, yeah hello hello say, say hi, hi. <laughs> you want to stay here in here or you want to go with me who are you okay What are you doing? What are you doing? 
Yeah. We're here. Well. Home. Oh. Hey, baby. What's up? Give me a kiss right here. Mm -hmm. Ow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see they miss them. They miss them. Mama Kit. You don't miss me? I missed you and Mama Kit. Okay, give me a kiss. No, give me a kiss. No, right here. Thank you. Okay, sit down. Come on. Look, it's Mama Kit. Look, it's Mama Kit. No, 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 no. Close more than the door, close more you. Hi. Look, I'm going to get a sign in your market. Ah. I'm going to get a sign. Baby powder. Oh. You know me, you be? No, no, no. You know me, you be? No, no, no. You know me, you be? Because she looks like Papi, right, baby? You know me, you be? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's the bunny, baby. How to touch bunny? Oh, it's gonna bite you. No, it's not. Look at my hand. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Now, Sabbath is about to close in an hour, and I'm going to do some Bible study. The topic is well, it kind of there's it's kind of a two double edged topic. Um, number one, number one, well, num okay, number two would be um, Jesus called uh, the the devil a murderer from the beginning, but he did not murder in the beginning. Like he did not physically murder in the beginning. Um, at least the Bible doesn't say doesn't say so. And number two, well, actually number one, we're gonna we're we're going backwards. Number one would be um, what were the sins that the devil committed in the beginning? In the beginning, before Adam and Eve were actually uh, brought to life. So. That's going to be a Bible study video that you guys should be watching sometime soon, maybe next week or the week after. Uh, I'm going to record it tonight and you probably, you guys will probably catch a glimpse of it um, later on when I'm actually recording it. So, there you go. You have you spit on me. <laughs> That's because. <laughs> oh 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 oh. What? I didn't do that. No. <laughs> what is it? There it is. Eww. Are you sleepy? I saw you yawning. Where's your yawn? Where's he? Where's he yawn? You see? Wow. Hello, Mama Kit. <laughs> what? What? Hello, Mama Kit. <laughs> 
Of course, watching the Manny Pacquiao fight like every Filipino family. So, the rest of my family is downstairs um, watching the Manny Pacquiao fight. You know, because we're Filipinos and we have to wa wa watch Manny Pacquiao every time he fights, even though he's like, what, 40, 50, 60 years old now, 70 years old. Um, so everybody's downstairs watching the Manny Pacquiao fight, which is a good thing for me because no one is going to bother me while I'm making my videos, the videos that I do for you guys. Here, I got the whole setup. I got the whole gig right here. Whole setup, but that's the camera. That's the, uh, if you guys can see, this is the, um, if you got, I, I don't really memorize, I, I memorize scripture sometimes, but I have a, I have trouble kind of memorizing it, so I got this uh, beam glass here, teleprompter, um, so if you guys uh, watch my videos and say, wow, how does he memorize all these scripture, all these, all these verses, it's because I'm reading a teleprompter. My brain is not that good when it comes to memory. So I got that. I got the uh, the the ring light right here. I got these lights right here. I got that light right there by my bed. Um, even got the blue light right here. You know, just to, just so that it, it, if you guys can see the the rim lighting right here. So all this just to just to do this one video, and of course. The camera is right in front of the door, so I'm locked in here until the video is done. Which is a good thing. It's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing that I'm, I'm locked in here until the video is done, so I can't come out until the video is done. Um, which is good. It forces me to make these videos and to finish the videos. Um, but it's a bad thing because if it, there's an, an emergency, <laughs> if there's an emergency, I gotta, you know, yeah. But it'll be easy if there's an emergency. I'll just take all the, the stuff out the way and 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 go. But um, yeah. So you guys are gonna see a behind the scenes today of how I make the videos that I make that God had so inspired me to make for you guys. Here we go. Oh yeah. By the way, I forgot to mention that there's this. I have this microphone right here. See that microphone? It's it plugs into the computer, and the computer records the vocals, my vocals. That's why um, when you guys hear the vocals, my vocals my vocals are pretty crisp. I learned a little bit of engineering, audio engineering from one of my best friends, my uh, baptism brother. Um, you guys have seen him here before. His name is Alex Cruz. You guys should know who he, who he is. Um, so yeah, that's why my voice is kinda, it's pretty crisp, I think. I think I do a good job, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But, uh, hey, God has blessed me with all this, this equipment. Might as well use it for, uh, to, to, to advance the gospel, right? So, here we go. We're going to start a video. It's going to be called ten, the, ten, ten, the Ten Sins, The Ten Main Sins That The Devil Committed. And you guys are going to be watching that um, sometime next week. And by the way, if you guys like the shirt, you guys can buy it. There's a link in the description box. It's not from me. I think it's from uh, Christian Outfitters or something like that. There's a link in the description. You guys can bu can buy it. Um, support them. They make great shirts. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, done with the video. Um, you guys will see that next week. Um, just to recap, what did we learn today? We learned, well... First of all, we uh, we learned about the Sabbath, but I kind of wanted to show you guys more, a little bit more of what we actually do at church on the Sabbath. But it was kind of an emo emotional, emotional day for me. Um, you know, as you guys, I already told you guys why. Just really admitting to my own guilt and my own faults, and um, hum humbling myself and um, admitting that I, I am still prideful. Um, we can't we can't be prideful. Even though it hurts your, your dignity, you know, if someone says something to you that disrespects you, even even though it hurts you, we can't. We gotta stay humble. We can't stay prideful because my church mom told me, um, 
you know, when Jesus was being uh, persecuted and being disrespected, he really did nothing. He, he did nothing. He just let them disrespect him. And it's really, uh, there's a time and place for everything. And um, the Bible does say that vengeance is God's, not ours. So we have to stay humble. We can't be prideful. Also, as you guys can see, a little bit of what we did uh, for Sabbath, we, um, we went outside and enjoyed nature. Uh, well, we went to church first, and then we went outside and enjoyed, enjoyed nature. We, we had uh, family time. Um, Sabbath is done, so it's over. Sabbath, Sab it's, it's, it's dark already. Sabbath is over. Um, but those are just some of the things that we do for Sabbath. And uh, what else did we learn today? Yeah, that's, that's it for today. Um, next Sabbath, I'm going to hopefully, God willing, I'm going to let you guys in on everything everything you guys already seen I, i'm kind of I'm, I'm i'm half in charge of the audio department of our uh, church um but i think that's all you guys saw from from church today um next sabbath i'm gonna take you guys all in hopefully god willing uh you guys can meet everybody there um there are some fun people there that that, that i get to talk to um the youth a lot of youth that i get to talk to um and I will introduce you guys to them and I will introduce them to you guys. So, yeah, praise God and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you guys, if you guys like this shirt, make sure you guys um, buy one. Uh, there's many different colors. It's not from me. Um, I think it's from Christian Outfitters or something like that. But there's a link in the description. You guys can grab one or two or three. Peace out. Praise God always. See you guys tomorrow.